Welcome back to another Random Bits. In this one, we're going to look at Edex UI, uh, which is a cool little app that basically turns your desktop into a Tron style user interface. Um, so once you have it installed, you can just launch it and it will boot up and give you this cool Tron user interface. Um, now it's actually functional. Um, it's got real information around CPU usage, the uh, processors, a uh, touch-based keyboard because this uh, will run on a full screen uh, touch interface if you had a Surface Pro or something like that. It's got network information and the like and a uh, functional shell. So we can go like this. I have a bash shell set up. Um, And so you can run actual commands. It's got a file navigator um, and you can launch multiple shells. So not entirely sure the use for this, but maybe it's just something cool to play with or something to impress your friends with. Um, or if you just wanted to uh, have something running in the background when you're um, doing some B-roll or something, it's kind of cool. Um, it's also fairly configurable. It's got a bunch of themes and things. Uh, so for instance, if I exit out of that shell and exit out of this shell, um, you will see uh, it has a um, set of folders which will change depending on wh which machine you're running on. I'm running under Windows. Uh, the uh, Edex UI will run on uh, Linux and Mac as well. Um, but they will have uh, the settings.json file which you can edit. And there is a number of uh, themes as well. So for instance, if we uh, change this to the uh, Apollo theme, um, it's pretty cool. And uh, you can see I'm here, you can configure which shell you're running. So in this case, I'm running the uh, bash shell. So we run that again. We now get a uh, slightly different looking theme. Uh, this one's more white, um, similar kind of layout. There's actually a number of other layouts that you can um, trigger through the different themes. So for instance, if I uh, pick a different theme, such as um, Interstellar, or actually I don't think that one's got a different theme. Let's try this one, Tron Disrupted. We can see that it will uh, change the layout. And you can also, by editing those JSON files, you can um, also uh, create your own themes. Now this thing's all written in uh, JavaScript as a uh, web application. Um, it's uh, running under Electron, which is how it runs as a desktop app. Um, and it is also um, all um, open source. So I'll put the link um, in the description below, uh, but you can go and download it from uh, GitHub. They have a number of builds here that you can download. Um, and of course, um, different themes. And uh, if you really want, you can go and uh, start editing away at the source code. You can create it fairly well um, put together. So you can go and create new classes and um, edit things if you wish. Um, out of these, I think my favorite theme is the red theme for whatever reason. I don't quite like that. Nice and, I don't know, night friendly. All right. Cool, so just a cool little app I thought I'd share. And um, thank you for watching. Cheers.